UPS guy just left. Kiyomoto, thank you so much. Let's do this. Today, we are bypassing the battery and we have a KO Nano coming in from UPS. <laughs> oh, what, a, what is uh, Saronster? <laughs> He's got Saronster <laughs> advice no, for video editing. No, I've been <laughs> That's okay. No, all right. Um, KO Nano. All right, let's start over. Ready? Here we go. Is it recording? Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so that black cable in there, it's stuck to the glue. Okay. So all I have to do is just pull it. And it comes Ooh. up. You see that? This is where the good stuff starts. It's a long. This is the reason why you want to put a little cover there so the solder doesn't drip down. Because that would be very bad. Really bad. Because it could be jumping in there and just cause a short randomly, which okay. you don't want. That's what that looks like. Pause the video if you need to see it. Ground goes in there, pain in the ass. Alrighty, folks, it's a very exciting day in the house of Mr. Matt because we just bypassed the battery, as you saw, and our KO package is here from China. So let's open this guy up. It smells like China. And it looks great, if you ask me. So we got positive and negative for the battery, cables for the motor, and the stock harness will plug in here. And the cool thing about this is that the stock display will work. I don't know how they did that. Good for them. What else do we have in the box? Their wire harness. This is going to plug into the controller for the update. And then we got the Bluetooth uh, module. That is very interesting. They have a very well-made tutorial video on how to use this if you want to connect uh, through Bluetooth so you don't have to plug in. But for the first step, we're going to update the, um, I'm gonna call it the firmware for this. All right, people, so final thoughts of the KO, and keep in mind, it's only been a day. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't love it. I don't love it. Spent, I don't know, about seven, 800 bucks. Uh, the support's been very good. We keep tuning and, and messing with all these settings. It doesn't feel like the native Saron. And uh, I talked to them, they said that, I told them when you let off the throttle, it doesn't immediately cut power. They said that that's going to come out in a future update. I think a lot of it's, I think all of it's software related. I think they'll be able to make it better. The bike's much faster, um, but but it doesn't feel safe because I, I don't feel like I'm in full control of the throttle, which everybody knows that's scary. But do I recommend it? Eh, maybe not yet, but hopefully in the near future with some updates. Stick to the BAC like this guy. Give it a crappy um, score. Score, I give it a I give it a six with some potential of, of being a nine to a to a nine and a half. Install was very easy. It just bolted right up, so that was nice. But uh, nothing's working properly. My speedometer is off. Uh, all things that can be fixed by software, like I said. So being the guinea pig, yeah, it's been a pain in the ass. But this is just taking way too long. Fuck. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear all this shit. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. Uh, being a guinea pig, I was expecting this. It's all right. The, the power is much better. So 
we just wait for updates and I'll, I'll try to make a new video in, I don't know, a month when things are hopefully better and the throttle feels better. And that's about it. We're at 100. Let's go ride. Oh. Hey. Poor battery. We raped that thing bypassing it. Uh. Rape. So many updates within the same video. All right, I think we've got it dialed in. Eco mode for throttle response makes it feel like a Suron again. And we went 0.95 and 3.8 on the throttle, which has made it be full range. So now when I, I don't get 100% throttle at 30%. These are the final settings on a stock Suron. Feels great.